Hey guys, it's Fleck here. I'm back again checking out another nifty product for you folks. Now, this isn't quite an overview, uh, not, not quite a review or a unboxing as much as it is a just an overview, a close look at this product. And today I'm checking out the AudioPipe APSM 1500 amplifier for your car. Go ahead and move this down. Get rid of my little uh, Kung Fu Panda there. All right. Uh, so, first, for actually for uh, reference, I want to use my keyboard. This is my keyboard. All right, as you can see, it takes up this space, and it's a very small keyboard. Logitech Tiny Keyboard. $12 keyboard. Works nice, though. First thing we're going to show off is the accessories. There's the base knob with cable. All right, this is the lower part. Hangs like that. And there it is. Audio pipe base knob. Okay, not much to it. I do like the design of the fuse holder. Nice bright green fuse. And it's just a fuse holder, but they put these rubbery kind of things on there, which are cool. They did the same thing to the foot. It's just a rubber cover on it. But I like it. Helps it look cool. 100 amp fuse in there. And now for the main event. Here's a 1500 watt audio pipe. APSM 1500. It really does put out practically rated power, you know, as far as most people are concerned. For the cost, for the 117 shipped from VM Innovations with the Facebook coupon code and so it's it, it's been rated to put out very close to real power maybe more like 1300 watts after efficiency maybe more like 1300 or 12 high 1200s uh, after efficiency and so take a good look at it and move it up look at the side here there we go Okay, that's the side. There you have your connectors internally bridged over here. All right, so you can plug in two speakers separately, but they'll still be bridged down uh, in parallel. And of course, over here, the power connectors, power ground, and remote. And over here, so you can see the controls and more connectors. There's the remote plug. And a good thing about this 1500 over the 1300 is the controls right here. Uh, the tweaking settings, your gain, your filter, your subsonic filter, and your bass boost and bass boost frequency. These were on the bottom of the 1300, but they are thankfully on the side and easy accessible. I didn't get the 1300 practically because the controls were on the bottom and I didn't want to have to say well once I configure it then I'm done I have to drill it down and if I ever want to have to mess with it I'm gonna to have to undrill it and whatnot and this not it doesn't have the most finest construction when it came in some of these little sides were bent upwards um, it's not the per most perfect thing in the planet um, these here these sort of stick up at sort of an angle uh, so those aren't seated, you know, perfectly there, but that's fine too. Um, little fan on the bottom, there it is. There's the fan. And so these amps are beasts for their cost, um, for their actual power output. Uh, they are beasts, you know, obviously, and for their size. You know, they did an amazing job. Uh, audio pipe, definitely... Uh, leading the way on the low-cost amps right now especially if you want real power it's not you know dirty not dirty nasty power and uh, reliable power then this is what you want to get I would suggest it haven't used it yet but if you go read the internet about these APSM series amps you'll know this is what you have to get if you don't want to have to dish out a uh, dollar per watt practically still even though we're you know years beyond that point now 
these companies are still going to charge what they want, but you can come to these guys instead, save a little moolah, and get real power. Alright guys, that's it. Till next time.